It's important to tell the stories of our countrymen who've been uh, sent abroad uh, to serve their country in our names. We, we need to understand um, the, the nature of the sacrifices they've made, particularly invisible wounds. I joined the military halfway through my senior year of high school, wanting to serve my country. The Coast Guard said that they could get me in within a month, so shit me off. The professionalism, the camaraderie. Getting out there and giving it my all. That's what I chose to do. One of the powerful things uh, about Invisible War is uh, it, are the stories that it tells uh, about the price that these women pay. Everything came to a complete change the, the day that I was raped. I got there in February. Um, by April, I was drugged and raped for the first time. I had like a cold or pneumonia-like symptoms, and so they sent me to get checked out. And while I was waiting to be examined, he came in and he helped himself. The statistics, many of which in the film Invisible War, are actually provided by the Defense Department, they tell a, a, a powerful story. But it's not until you put faces to them to give voice to the voiceless. In my research of PTSD, I came across uh, military sexual trauma, MST, and in particular, I, I encountered something, uh, the, a chilling descriptor, uh, command rape. And uh, I began to, to try to understand what that was. And uh, command rape is, is actually not violent rape, it's coercive rape. It's a subordinate uh, submitting to um, uh, a superior uh, out of fear of retribution. So I created this character, Melissa Wheeler, who starts out, we know from her backstory, as a strong, capable soldier. She's a, um, a mechanic, an aviation mechanic, when she is, uh, finds herself in a command rape relationship, is traumatized by it, and uh, leaves the military. My process is, in order to tell stories, I have to hear stories. And people all up and down the, 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 the chain of command over the last 10 years have been very helpful and very generous in sharing their stories. I think that any attention, even if it's simply a, a comic strip, is probably something that's appreciated. I learned this going all the way back to Vietnam, that, um, that, the, that the troops are grateful if attention is paid. And I may not get it right, and I always encourage um, uh, the people I'm talking to to let me know when I'm not getting it right or when they feel I'm not getting it right. And I think we as a nation have a strong responsibility to, um, to reach out to, to the men and women who have, have gone through this uh, hell and try to uh, bring them all the way home.